But do the new faces have any chance to make a difference? We will have nearly 100 women in the Congress for, yeah. for the first time. Uh, the most Latinos in history, 29 in the House, three over in the Senate. Uh, the first Southern African-American senator elected, Tim Scott, uh, since Reconstructed, he was appointed. He's been around a little bit. Uh, first female African-American GOP congresswoman, Nia Love, from out in Utah. Do the new faces come into town and they say, you know, I I'm not you, it's time to be different, you or know, do they I get captive? I think they get captive. I mean, I think everybody's looking, for instance, at Joni Ernst out of Iowa. Uh, is she more Tea Party? Is she more establishment? I think symbolically all of no. these numbers are good for both parties, uh, but we know how things work. It's about leadership. Right. It's about seniority. These folks aren't going to have much of that. Let's hope we're wrong. Let's hope we're wrong <laughs> that Washington actually gets you, something done. You have a record done. of being wrong. I think that could oh, be Oh, thanks good. so much for that. I appreciate that point. <laughs>